Identify the components and relative cables equipped with electrical coupling connectors and connect those that have the same color cable ties. Note that the connectors of different colors cannot be physically connected and that the connectors of the same color have a unique coupling position which is indicated by the arrows on each connector itself. In order to be able to quickly identify the two ends during the assembly phase, it is recommended to highlight the arrows using a white marker. It is recommended to gently turn the connectors in order to allow for their proper connection. In order to feed the cables into the frame, use the magnet kit, code R131-8001, which is comprised of a metallic cable with a magnet, hereafter referred to as the metallic cable, and a cable with a magnet mounted on one end and a universal connector mounted on the other end, hereafter referred to as the lead cable. The connection diagram is as follows. The power system is connected to the rear derailleur, front derailleur, and the interface to which the two front and rear derailleur controls are connected. Start by feeding the cable from the power system to the rear derailleur unit. Mount the fastening bracket on the power system. In order to more easily access the hole for inserting the cables, use the screw to temporarily fasten the power system to the frame, inserting the first spacer between the bracket and the frame itself. With the help of the lead cable, insert the metallic cable into the hole of the rear dropout until the other end comes out of the hole near the power system. Connect the rear derailleur cable with the green cable tie to the lead cable's electrical connector and extract the cable itself from the hole in the shift unit. At this point, we can feed the connection cable from the power system to the interface. Insert the metallic cable into the hole and use the magnet to feed it into the down tube. Continue feeding the metallic cable with the help of the lead cable until the other end comes out of the hole near the power system. Connect the interface cable with the red cable tie to the lead cable's electrical connector. And extract the cable itself from the hole. At this point, feed the connection cable from the power system to the front derailleur. Insert the metallic cable into the hole of the vertical tube. And with the help of the lead cable, bring the end out of the hole near the power system, pulling upon it gently in order to prevent the magnet from being disconnected inside the frame. Connect the front derailleur cable with the yellow cable tie to the electrical connector on the lead cable and extract the cable itself from the hole. Secure the front derailleur cable with adhesive tape in order to prevent it from slipping inside. Mount the controls upon the handlebar, respecting the specifications contained within the technical manual, as well as those provided by the handlebar supplier. Install the rubber vibration damping washer upon the power system and secure the power system in place using the second screw. Be sure to insert the second spacer between the bracket and the frame when tightening the second screw.
mount the rear derailleur respecting the specifications contained within the technical manual and above all using the appropriate torque. When finished, connect the terminals with the green cable ties. Mount the cable cover cylinder, making sure the shift cable is positioned at the upper part of the bottom bracket box. Assemble the crank set as described in the technical manual. Install the safety clip. Mount the front derailleur, ensuring the appropriate distance from the largest chain ring, 1.5 to 3 millimeters, and the parallelism between the derailleur fork and the chain ring itself. Connect the terminals with the yellow cable ties. Mount the interface. Then connect the terminals with the red cable ties. Open the control covers. Finally, connect the control connectors to the interface. At this point, it is possible to test the functionality of the EPS by extracting the system shutoff magnet from the power unit and pressing both mode buttons. If certain commands do not work or if the LED indicator on the power unit turns on, consult the EPS troubleshooting flowchart. If the test has a positive outcome, shut off the EPS system by reinserting the magnet. If any of the electrical connectors need to be disconnected, use the appropriate Campagnolo tool, code UTCG020EPS. Insert the connector with the arrows visible on the upper portion.
Insert the fork between the connector and the tool and extract the male terminal by turning the fork. In order to extract the female terminal from the tool, press the lower pin.